Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be checking out the applications on the Red Fataya platform and I'm so excited to get started. So let's just dive right into it. So here we have our Red Fataya platform. We can get started with the oscilloscope. So in this oscilloscope, we see that you can stop your run when you're done recording. Um, you can even use your cursor to look at different x and y coordinate values and even the distance between this. So for example, you might be using this to check the distance between waves or the amplitude of a wave. You can even zoom in, whether that be on the x or y coordinate. So here you can see that we're getting a better view of each individual wave. Um, and I'm just dragging the cursor over so that maybe we could see the difference in time between you know the start of this wave i personally did not connect anything to my red pataya for this demo but as you can see it still captured some noise all right so now we can get started with the logic analyzer so here you can see that there's also the same run and stop button for whenever you're ready to record your data we also have those same cursors um, so here you can see there's an x-axis cursor and so it can show you the distance between two time periods It even calculates that for you as you can see in that box in the middle. There's also that same zoom function um, As we saw before so all pretty easy to use So now we can get started looking at the data stream control So here it's going to be a little bit different um, There's just the run and stop button and this is to run your server um, you're not going to do too much analysis here, but you can definitely change the IP address for whatever kind of connection you want to make. And next we're going to go into the boat analyzer. So this analyzer also has the run and stop functions that we've been using before, um, but the cursors are a little different. So here we have F, which stands for the frequency. So you can see the change in frequency over time. G, which is going to represent the amplitude of whatever it is you're looking at, or you can look at the change in amplitude. Again, if you choose to use the G1 or G2. And the last one here, P1 and P2, that represents the phase. So as you can see on the right side of the graph, it says phase and degrees. And so that's kind of how you can measure the changing phases. So next we're going to look at the LCR meter, which you will need an extension for and you can purchase that at the Red Pattaya website. But basically this is just a good way to look at resistance. You can also look at your capacitors and inductors um, and it's, it's all in one, so it's really easy to use. So now we're going to look at our DFT spectrum analyzer and this also uses the run and stop feature. Um, but something that's really cool here is that you can actually set the range of uh, the graph that you want to look at. So for example, if I only wanted to look at frequencies from 5 to 10, I just type that in and it zooms into the area that I would like it to. Of course, you could also use that those buttons in the bottom right corner um, to zoom in and zoom out, but I thought this was a really cool function where you can kind of choose your own range. You can also access the Red Pattaya store through this platform or the application marketplace. So the application marketplace is kind of somewhere where you can download or install, you know, new features if you want to go into more advanced projects. As you can see, there's already a lot available on the platform for you if you're interested. If you go into the development tab, you'll also be able to see more features um, like teaching materials or even how to create your own web application. You may have noticed that we didn't go over the transceiver or the vector network analyzer. This is because if you click on these apps, you will actually be led to a new link on how to install the correct software for it and how you can delve into these projects on your own. Um, so if you just click on it and click on the link that's attached, you'll be brought to the documentation that will assist you with that. But overall, all you need to do is connect your Red Pattaya to be able to access all of these cool applications. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video.